The primary function of a central bank is to control the nation's money by managing interest rates, setting the reserve requirement, and acting as a lender of last resort to the banking sector during times of bank insolvency or financial crisis. These functions, however, are only known by the elite. We had uh, uh, in Bali, we had to go out to a town hall meeting. We went to go in a town hall meeting. The public is more concerned about poverty. It's more concerned about employment. And yes, we have a good understanding of that. And they think that the central bank can actually play a direct role on poverty and uh, uh, poverty and, and uh, employment. The challenge I think I agree with actually is uh, how do we communicate what we do and how do we inform the public and tell them that whatever we do actually at the end of the day may have a role to play to poverty reduction, activity and employment. In reaction to his concerns, the Central Bank Governor, National Bank of Rwanda, John Rwangobwa, said investor confidence in any financial sector is guaranteed by the Central Bank through the regulation of interest and forex rates, which in so doing have an impact on national economy. Late market forces will return. And part of our role as central banks as well is to act as advisors to government, economic advisors to government, to always get push. Uh, from Central banks in most developed nations are institutionally designed to be independent from political interference. Incidentally, in sub-Saharan Africa, they are partly limited and controlled by the executive and legislative bodies, a trend that has abused their role. The key issue we're talking about is what should the state or the institutions do? And as I mentioned at the beginning, that's the relative the character of the state. And in African countries, where we have problems is because of the rent-seeking character of the state. Now, that rent might be from uh, natural resources or from other sources of rent. And once you have that kind of uh, state, uh, you really don't want to get close to the kind of things we're discussing. And so the character of the state is fundamental to the mission and the mandate of the state. So, After the financial crisis of 2007-2008, Central banks led change, but as of 2015, their ability to boost economic growth has stalled. Central banks debate whether they should experiment with new measures like negative interest rates or direct financing of government, a move that must be long-term with focus on structural transformation, especially of African economies. And uh, I think the capacity, the human capacity in central bank today uh, is to credit for the for the for their performance. Uganda is looking forward to becoming a middle income country by 2021. The government has so aggressively borrowed funds to finance our infrastructural needs, but concerns have emerged over its consonance with long term macroeconomic policy framework. As part of our our role and mandate, okay, we need to increase domestic domestic savings. That's why they, we have activities in terms of deepening the financial system to mobilize and uh, intermediate these, uh, these uh, resources. In spite of the deliberations, the issue of high interest rates charged by commercial banks against the hope that economic liberalization would lead to financial development and inclusion remains a challenge. Reporting for WBS, Edwin Mumza, Kampala.